Hello everyone, my name is Lynn. Today I would like to talk about MapReduce. So before I start with MapReduce, there are two concepts I would like to talk about a little bit. Um, one is big data. What is big data and what kind of challenge we will face when we deal with big data? The other concept is MapReduce, what it is and how MapReduce works. I believe understanding these two concepts will help us better understand these three questions. What, what is MapReduce, why we need it, and how it's going to help us. So, big data. I used to believe big data is a technology. Actually, that is not true. Big data is just a um, problem statement. It is actually a term for data set that is so large and complex that traditional database system is not able to handle it. So working with big data also involves a lot of different challenges. Uh, it's not just about the size, it can be uh, the variety, which refers to the fact that uh, data is coming from different sources and uh, in different format. Also the velocity uh, refers to the faster speed that data is generated. So in the past, we have been using database relational database management system to deal with our data. But one big issue with that is that um, Today, a lot of data is semi-structured and uh, unstructured at all, so which means all those data, it's going to be very hard to fit into our traditional predefined models. So obviously, traditional database uh, is definitely not going to be a solution for uh, our big data issue. So here, that's why we need Hadoop. Actually, um, Hadoop, as we just mentioned, definitely not one of those traditional database. It's actually... Uh, data uh, software ecosystem that allows for massive parallel computing. Hadoop actually it's an open source software framework uh, written in Java. Also it has two uh, important part. One is the storage part on Hadoop distributed file system HDFS. The other part is the processing part uh, which is called MapReduce. So let's see how HDFS works. When we have a lot of data coming in we can split uh, with Hadoop HDFS system. It will allow us to split the data and store them across a collection of different machines, which is also called cluster. Then we want to process the data. Since the data is already stored in the machine, so we don't need to retrieve it from the server, which can be very efficient. We can process it locally in our machine instead, which can be much faster. So after the data is stored in HDFS, let's see how uh, it's processed with MapReduce. So MapReduce is the heart of Hadoop. It is the programming paradigm that allows for processing large data set in distributed fashion over several machines. Also, can be hundreds or thousands of uh, Hadoop cluster. Imagine we have huge file. And processing it in a traditional way, uh, it's going to take a lot of time. So we are going to divide all those huge files into small chunks, and then process the data in parallel. The core cool idea behind MapReduce is that we can map all those data into key value pairs. And then the reducer is going to take the output from the map and then combine all those data, data value with the same key and then process it as needed. So as the sequence of the name MapReduce implies, the reduce job always performed after the map job. So let's look at one simple exam to see how MapReduce works. Imagine we are a big company and we have entities in thousand different cities and we, right now we have a huge um, accounting general ledger in front of us including all the sales transactions in all the entities around the world. So our task is to calculate the revenues and sales in each city. So um, if we go through all those transactions one line by line, it's definitely going to take a lot of time. So given that it's going to be a task, a huge task, we will call more people to help us out. We divide these two group of people into uh, mapper group and the reducer group. So let's see, um, with this huge 
sales data, we will break it into several stack and give each mapper several piles of document for them to work with. So for each mappers, we expect them to um, map all those data according to the name of the city, which means in the end, in front of each mapper, we expect to see several piles of document. Like for example, for the first guy, he's going to have several piles, one pile for New York City, one pile for Paris, which means all the transactions happen in Paris. He's gonna gather all those data and put in the same pile. So after the mappers finish working, we are going to call for help um, from the reducers. Their job is to make sure there will only be one pile for each city. So in the end, like what we see from the slides, we will see only one huge pile for New York City transactions, one for London and for all other city um, as well. So after they finish this, reducers is going to process the data. Like here, we need to uh, calculate the total sales from each city. So they are gonna calculate the sales revenue from each city, New York, London, one by one, and generate uh, the report. So we can see from uh, the each mapper here, instead of working on a huge task, they work on a small chunk of task. And also they are allowed to work in parallel, which can be very efficient and much faster. Also, their task is to um, map all the data into key value pairs. In our case, the key is the name of the city and the value is our transaction data happen in that city. So for reducers, um, they will get the, all the data and combine all the values with the same key. Like in our case, our key is the cities. So then they are su supposed to uh, process the, the data accordingly. Like here in our case, we ask them to add up all the sales total uh, for each city. So we will see um, that here, MapReduce provide us with a good solution for big data issue. They um, provide us the opportunity to, to, to break big tasks into small pieces and uh, work uh, in parallel at the same time, which is scalable, fast, cost effective, and very flexible. But given the nature of Map, the, the way MapReduce works, we have to process all the tasks in parallel, which means they need to be independent from each other. So for those tasks that um, needs to interact with each other or they depend on each other. So in those cases, MapReduce definitely won't be a good solution. As here, we will all become software engineer. Hopefully we will find good solutions to that limitation. Thank you, that's all for MapReduce today.